We're at New Fira Stadium in Snuffalo, home of the thrills. Ah, it sure does get cold here in Snuffalo. Did you know that when the NFL first started, its very first season, a Snuffalo player suffered a high quarters ass capitation? Yeah, it was it was seven when he was tackled and, and it froze before it hit the ground. And thus the saying was born to freeze one owns ass up. Let's play some football. The teams are juiced up and ready for blood as they take the field for MFL action. The Galaxy Chaos face off against the Snuffalo Thrills. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Welcome to another game day here on the MFL Network. Grim Blitzrow along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan. How you doing? Great city, isn't it, Bricks? Fantastic city. My motel even has free color TV. Oh, that's and nice. an ice machine that works. Wow. That was police tape blocking the bathroom because of the photographers in there. But other than that, no complaints. They, they give you free jelly at breakfast, too. Sounds like a real winner. That's a catch for a four-yard game. Second down and six. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Third and four. One yard is better than nothing, but not by much. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. And he's got a chance for a good return here. He oh, he just got crushed. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. I hope you covered your ears, Briggs, because that was a sonic blast dirty trick. With the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. Crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Oh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? And it's first and ten. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. First and two. A 
Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Three yard catch on the play. Every little bit counts. Those three yarders might grow up to be somebody one day. Second down and seven. Just keep pounding the ball right up the gut, and you'll tire these guys. Oh, holy smokes! He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. He picks up nine yards on that catch. And that'll bring up second and one. He is running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. No, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort. And he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, right now, what day is it? The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. First and four. up four on that pass and catch and that'll bring up second and one and he snags it for six touchdown touchdown hey man nobody can touch me when I ball I take all you mutants out that's right hey what you talking about pal? Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They just be called sinners. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. First and ten. He's not going down. And he's off to the races. And like a monkey trying to fuck And then to... Oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. And it's first and ten. Hit that. And that's how. Oh, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. Second down and seven. Oh, man. Bricks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. is running low on running backs. They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. Oh, 
nice time warp dirty trick called by the D, and the offense is pissed. <laughs> oh, for you kids at home, that's how you play mutant football. Hey, wait a minute. What the? Ah, uh, did they? Didn't they just? Uh, am I losing my mind? Or did that play that I saw just not happen? Uh, I gotta stop smoking them on tidy laundry pods. Third down and five. When it's your time to go, it's your time. And it's first and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. <laughs> And that'll be second down and four. And that's a catch for three yards. And that'll bring up third and one. Oh, that was a vicious hit. There might not be an eye in team, but this guy's eyeballs are all over the other team's helmets right now. <laughs> And it's first and ten. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. First down and three. I thought the only tie we'd see would be a noose. Instead, they're in a dead heat. Tie game at the end of one. First down and three. One speed, and that's just a great run for a touchdown. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. running like a moose right now. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And an eight-yard gain on that one. Like when Brix's mom decided to move back in with us. Second down and two.
Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. He broke free and has open field in front of him. Hit the Boom, get him down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. <laughs> the offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Rim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! And it's first and ten. <laughs> and he was stuck to him like glue. Second down and ten. Oh, that was a great throw and a great catch. Yeah, but, but it was an interception. Oh, uh, yeah. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast hammer. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, the ref didn't see it. At least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. Yeah. And it's first and ten. play that was bricks kind of like your aunt bertha this guy has some big balls what a hit yeah she does have a big pair grin you're right the defense called a sticky ball dirty trick and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble oh, no, that was totally unnecessary <laughs> i gotta see that one again it was also freaking awesome i hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere Third down and ten. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Not many kickers can kick it over 50 yards in these brutal conditions. Let's see if he can do what few others can. That was like a movie trailer, Grim. And it's good. You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good, huh? I mean, can't we all just... Not this shit again. Bricks, I'm stopping it right there. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. It's first and ten. A nice run there for eight yards. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. <laughs> Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. It's always a player's favorite.
And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. And this guy runs angry and runs. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I got to check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. And it's first and ten. And he's off to the races. Goal! If you ever do that again, Bricks, I'll shoot you in the head. The people like it. See that boo, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Hey, Bricks, they're going for two here. Can't keep a good mutant down. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a... Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Looks like the defense called the ginormous dirty trick. That's a whole lot of player right there. Oh, man, he really wants it. And the quarterback drills one in. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they had raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Ten-yard pick up there. Normally a first down, but here, he's just making up ground. Yeah, like the way the commish makes up new. They stump the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. <laughs> this guy's running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. Bingo! missing was his number for the last three plays talk about luck the quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it he just clock blocked the clock and it's first and ten <laughs> and there's another pick man this quarterback must have learned a lot of oh and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaur must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. Hot. I don't know if he even had a target on that throw. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. And that is caught for a first down. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Yeah. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. And the offense goes into a hurry-up to pick up the pace of the game. Hot two, eight. Now there are 
there's some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And it's first and ten. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh boy, where we going, man? A carnival? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we're gonna go to a strip tea show, where we going? Hey, why don't you sell down, just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. <laughs> the teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. First and four. Quarterback passes for a touchdown. to the line trying to tie this up with two points. And if they don't, things are going to get weird and desperate on their sideline. Hey, give them more credit, Bricks. They're not you after four beers. turn after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. He's rumbling. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a
for a first down. And it's first and ten. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. He could go all the way. The defense erases the previous play by transporting the offense back in time. I heard that Time Walk 30 Trick uses advanced alien black hole technology. Yeah, your entire life is a big black hole. Second down and ten. That ball was almost intercepted. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Well, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but yeah, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> And this is a first and long offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down in a mile. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Pow! With the brain scrambler! Yeah, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. Oh, nice hit! And it's first and ten. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. The offense is down to their last two receivers. Once they're gone, it's game over, baby. Ah, those poor receivers. They're really getting the snot kicked on them. Someone ought to just shoot them, put them out of their misery. Uh, don't worry, that's coming. And it's first and ten. And he's off to the races. And the defense is on his heels. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, good night to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Receiver. They'll be playing shorthanded for the rest of the game. Ah, and if they lose him, will they have to forfeit? Oh, talk about pressure. I'm going to have to take the value before this one ends. Hey, y'all been out on me.
And it's first and ten. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. Snuffle thrills win by a forfeit at home. And that's a win no matter what you call it. Like this stadium. There's not much left of the opposition, and the fans are loving it. There was only one way this game was going to end, and that was in a forfeit. That's not quite true, Grim. The alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game. Oh, how about it? How about if you shut the hell up right now? We go down to the field and listen to what the MVP has to say. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.